down, please. I've got limited time. Y'all got to listen fast. You know, I did realize that the mind can absorb only what the rear can endure, so I'm not going to talk very long, but uh, I do have some good stuff. I'm going to spend about 30 seconds telling you who I am, and then I'm going to go over some stuff that I think can help you be successful. Is that fair enough? I'm assuming we're here because we would like to make lots of money, yes or yes? Okay, well guys, for the ones that don't know me, I'm a high school basketball coach by trade. I coached for 16 years at Lakeview High School in Garland, Texas. That's a suburb east of Dallas. I loved it. I did it with a passion. I felt like I helped some kids. Sponsored the Fellowship of Christian Athletes. Did all kinds of stuff, but never made much money. Believe it or not, in public education, you just don't make a lot of money. I finally decided that the Dallas Mavericks or none of those NBA teams were going to call me. So I was trying to figure out what I was going to do to change my life in this business came along, a friend of mine showed me this, and I just kept remembering two things, you know, just mainly one, just essential services, and the other one was residual income. As a teacher, I'd never experienced residual income. I thought, I might like that. So I decided to get involved. Guys, I got in, I had a goal to make $1,000 a month. I thought, well, if I could make a grand a month, it'd help me pay some credit card bills down. So I started talking to people, and it took me a few weeks, but I finally got a check with a comma, and I was pumped up. I mean, a check with a comma and my name on it, I was fired up. But you know what? I used to go to church with a man named Zig Ziglar, and Zig would always say, go as far as you can see, and when you get there, you're going to be able to see further. Well, Zig was right. When we got a check with a comma in it, then, you know, I could see a squiggly number in front of that comma next time. And we got to the squiggly numbers, and I just kept realizing that my mind kept expanding, and I kept seeing bigger and bigger numbers as goals, and I realized that even an old boy like me could accomplish some great things, guys. you got to understand, I grew up in the ghettos in South Dallas. I had no dad in my life. My mom worked in a sewing factory. There were two murders and a rape within seven houses of us. I don't say any of that so you feel sorry for me. I just want you to understand my perspective because I think sometimes we get in here and we say, you just don't know where I come from. Well, you don't know where I come from. I mean, I saw, I saw more drugs and violence as a kid than I care to remember, but it is what it is. It helped make me who I am today. You know, I promise you, guys, everybody in here, a couple of things. One, none of us can help where we came from. You know, we just kind of popped out and there was mom and dad. I mean, you know, we had no say-so in that deal. The other thing I can promise everybody in here is that everybody in here has got some uh, dirty laundry. We've all screwed up. I told somebody the other day, I've got so many skeletons in my closet, I can barely put my clothes in, you know? I mean, some of those things where I look back and I go, what was I thinking, you know? I'm sure we've all had some of that, but let me tell you what, guys. It doesn't matter where we come from, and it doesn't matter if we've made some mistakes in the past, because we all have. Don't think that you're the only one that screwed up a few times. You're not. We all did it. Guys, we've got a chance with ACN to totally change our lives. Totally change our lives. But it's, it's going to take you doing a few things different. It's going to take you having a mindset change. You know, how many of us got trapped into leading a life we really never intended to live? You know, I know as a teacher, I could raise both hands. I never dreamed that I'd be struggling just to pay some basic bills, but I was. I got trapped in deleting a life I had never intended to live. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we got a chance to get out of that. We've got a chance to make our dreams come true. See, it's never too old to be the person that you might have been. Did you, do you understand that? So it doesn't matter our age here tonight, ladies and gentlemen. All that matters is what's in here. Do you have the heart to make a change in your life? Three things. You've got to listen real fast, guys. Three things. One, we got to start dreaming again. I'm going to tell you what gets me out of bed in the mornings is my dreams, my goals. I have them on my phone. I put them on my memos. I've got 14 goals I'm shooting for this year. 14 goals. I read them morning and night. I know where I'm going in my life. I know what I'm trying to accomplish. Do I hit them all on their date and stuff? No, I screw up some. I, sometimes I don't hit them. Next year I'll put some of the same goals because I didn't quite make it. But I know where I'm trying to get. And it gets me out of bed in the mornings. Guys, if you're sliding out of bed on Monday morning, what that tells me is that you don't have enough goals and dreams. That tells me that you're just kind of living life and that you're stuck in mediocrity. 
I'm telling you right now, it is time we get excited about life. Do you realize we don't get do-overs? Do you realize this isn't some dress rehearsal? Do you realize this is it? We've got to change our lives right now if we want to, and we've got the vehicle. It just falls down to who, who wants it, because that's really what it's going to come down to. You know, the only reason I'm standing up here is I've got a burning desire in my butt to be somebody. That's the only reason I'm here. I'm not the sharpest knife in the drawer. I can promise you that one, but I tell you what, I got passion about life, I got passion about accomplishing my goals, and I wrote mine down. Before you go to bed tonight, you write your goals and dreams down, ladies and gentlemen. Number two, we got to grow as a person. When I was in school, I was on the Just Get Me Out of Here program. I don't know if anybody can relate to that, but when I went to the university, I knew to coach, I had to have a degree, but I was on, hey, just get me out of here. Give me that piece of paper and get me out of here. And I look back now and I learned a little bit. Sure, I had to just because I was sitting there, but I could have learned so much more. My whole attitude on learning has changed. Now I'm a lifelong learner. I am trying to learn. One, I read. And I taught math so I wouldn't have to read. Is that not kind of crazy? But now I read. I mean, I've got books on audio. I've got audio book on my phone. And I mean, I'm listening to books. When I was flying here yesterday, I was listening. When I'm flying back tonight, I'll be listening. I'm trying to grow because, see, our circumstances are because of our actions, and our actions are because of our thoughts. If we want something different, we've got to get this changed. We've got to understand, so read the other thing is at night instead of watching that time-wasting electronic income reducer that a lot of people call a television. I'm going to say, get your computer out and let's watch some Zig Ziglar, Stephen Covey, Les Brown, Joyce Myers. Let's listen to some personal growth guys. Talk to us about how we can change our lives. Instead of putting crap in, let's put some good stuff in and start changing the way we think. Because, guys, we can do anything that we set our mind to, but it's all going to start right here. We need to read. We need to watch a little bit. My third one, run with winners, guys. When I was growing up in South Dallas, I tell you, the group I was running with, they were not the winners. They were not the winners. You know, those skeletons in the closet, a lot of them were because of the guys I was hanging out with back then. I still love those guys, and I'd help them if they come and needed something, but I'm telling you right now, I can't spend time with those guys anymore. They were going down the wrong path. Guys, everybody in here, you know some winners. You need to start, start spending more time with winners. Start spending time with people that are going somewhere with their life. Spend time with people that are motivated and they're excited about life. Guys, we, we don't have time in our lives because it goes by so quick to spend it with a bunch of losers. Now, understand, sometimes with family, we got to spend a little time with them. <laughs> I tell people all the time, my family is just a bunch of rednecks. I mean, you know, it is what it is. I love them all, but they're my rednecks, so I, I spend some time with them. But I try not to spend a lot of time, if you know what I mean. Guys, we got to spend time with winners, and all of a sudden, you'll get excited about life, too. When I'm spending time with all the leaders in ACN, man, I listen to what they're doing and their excitement and what they're accomplishing and the things they're doing with their life. I get all pumped up. Guys, read, watch, and run with winners. That's how we grow as a person. And I'm telling you right now, one of the other reasons that I'm standing here is because I decided to get on that growth path. I decided to become a lifelong learner. I'm telling you right now, write your dreams down and then start growing. My last point, guys, you're going to have to work your butt off. If you're wanting to make significant money, how many in here would like to make some significant money? If you're wanting to make significant money, you've got to understand, this takes work. It takes work. The first two or three years I was in the business, I mean, I busted my butt. Every three second, I was busting my butt. Guys, you've got to be willing to do that. See, really, the, the secret to success is not a secret. The secret to success is make a list, set a appointment, show the plan, and plug into everything you can plug into. There's the secret. People all the time say, Presley, have you made all that money? I made all that money because I showed the plan, and 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 got sick of showing the plan, but I kept showing the plan, and showing the plan, and showing the plan. If you want to make a lot of money, here's the deal. You make that list, and then you start making phone calls. See, you're just playing with it if you're sitting your butt on the couch thinking about who you need to call, but you never pick the phone up. I'm telling you right now, there's no secrets to this business. It's not about special ability. It's about action. 
Are you willing to get your butt up and do something? See, do you want to have stuff that other people can't have? It's you got to be a little different. It's going to require you to get out of your comfort zone. Do we know what that is? Do you realize my comfort zone was probably about that big? I don't even know if I can get my feet in it when I started. But if we'll take a small step out, it'll grow. And we take another step out, it'll grow. And we take another step out, and it'll grow. But we're going to have to get our butt out there and start showing that plan and showing that plan. We've got amazing services. All of them are amazing services. But I'm telling you right now, with impact, we've got a chance to blow the roof off right now. And if you're not out there leading the crusade, as Jeff was talking about, something's wrong. I'm leading a crusade against insurance companies because they're making billions of dollars on the backs of hardworking American people who can't afford to pay their premiums. I'm leading that crusade. I hope you'll decide to join me on that crusade. Guys, we've got a chance to do something amazing. We've got a chance to show people with our last name that we can do something special. Guys, you're going to leave a legacy one way or the other. What kind of legacy are you going to leave? Here's my challenge to all of us. I challenge us. Let's draw a line in the sand right now. And let's make a decision right now that we're going to change our lives. Let's make a decision that we're going to get out, our butt out there and do stuff that other people aren't willing to do. Guys, only 2.5% of the population are visionaries. 2.5%. The rest of the people are followers. We are the 2.5%. Guys, we got greatness inside us. Let's make it happen. Let's do this. I believe with all my heart, there'll be two groups to us. The group that's glad they did and the group that wishes they had. God bless you guys. Thank <laughs> you.